my the preparation i started with speed only and i did not read any textbooks or anything it was just the speed videos which was my base for my knowledge in cardiac surgery and so as the speed videos threshold in my knowledge in cardiac surgery also in that okay i would obviously ask them to take speed and not uh, go behind the uh, textbooks because i don't think uh, you have to be focused when you prepare for an entrance and even if you read entire books i don't think we can memorize and we read a lot of unnecessary things so i think so once you have decided there is no point in wasting time you just uh, have to take speed uh, and just start preparing for cardiac surgery immediately okay i bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members of speed medical institute for uh, two dr deepak suresh kumar for scoring uh, aml rank and cml rank 1 uh, in mch cardiothoracic and vascular surgery thank best you, wishes sir. congratulations thank you sir. so can we know a brief background from deepak where he started his career till date so my name is deepak suresh kumar i am from uh, chennai i did my uh, uh, mbbs from cmc velour then i am just finishing my uh, post graduation in general surgery from uh, pj chandigarh wow <laughs> okay great now it looks your journey looks uh, somewhere around the map and uh, great and talking to a future cardiothoracic surgeon is also exciting huh? <laughs> thanks a lot sir uh, so when did you make this decision to take cardiothoracic surgery so, so my uh, father is actually a cardiologist in chennai what is so, his name Dr. Suresh Kumar sir, in Kaveri Chennai. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Right, right, right. Okay, fine. Huh? Great. Hmm. So, so I've been exposed to uh, heart talks from a very young age. So huh. when I joined uh, MBBS, I either wanted, I needed, I wanted to do something related to the heart. Huh. My real decision to take cardiac surgery came in my uh, third year of MBBS when uh, during my pediatrics posting actually, when we had a wide case variety of uh, pediatric cardiac cases in Bellur. Hmm. so that is when my interest developed and then uh, cns velour has a bond system where you are you have to do two years bond post mbbs so one of the years i did in cardiac surgery and then with that my decision was made to join cardiac surgery okay so now uh, father can refer cases to son so, uh, <laughs> i think of pediatric sir but yes sir uh good so i mean people generally choose what father is doing actually but you have taken an opposite direction huh I mean, like a cardiology, like a cardiothoracic surgeon. Good. I mean, it's great to know. And uh, now there is a quote always: an intelligent fellow in surgery will not take cardiothoracic surgery. Only a mad fellow will take <laughs> cardiothoracic surgery who has madness. You have have you heard this? You you know this? This quote. I know this, sir. I many people have told me this, sir. Because when people think, they will think when to settle fast and how to settle fast quickly, and yes, sir. and with less kind of teamwork. So I go, I operate, and come out. But cardiothoracic surgery and a surgeon is not individual. It's an institution by himself. Yes, sir. If tomorrow Dr. Deepak Suresh Kumar means if he finishes MCH cardiothoracic surgery after that, he is not a single person. He is an institution by himself. That means yes, he will have cardiology. He will have a cardiac anesthetist. He will have a perfusionist, ECG technician. So this is a team. Just he operates, and he is the leader of the team. He is the king of the team. Yes, sir. Correct. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So. and the feel of a cardiothoracic surgeon is the king of surgeons i mean that means he can ha- i mean he can handle yes, yes he can he can handle a heart and he can handle i mean the highest risk in surgery i mean any yes, surgery um, he can definitely look into it right so that's what in, in english they called as, as as a madness i mean I mean generally a cardiothoracic surgeon he feels in a different mindset i mean the kind of mindset yes, is sir. different so hope you could co- relate and correlate uh, what i say in the yes, right sir. sense <laughs> so great to see you have taken the decision and you work towards it can i know from you that how did you work on this and how did you start doing it and today you have achieved rank number 1 i actually bought speed very early in my mbbs i actually bought it i think in towards the end of my first semester in the middle of 6 months So the first three semester, one and a half years, it was work. PJ, there are no interns also. The workload is heavy, large case load. And the first three semesters, really, you are posted mostly in general surgery, and there's a lot of work. After that, uh, you are a senior, so you have a little, little bit more time, and uh, you have also we also get posted in uh, peripheral postings. So we get a little more free time there. There are, there are, uh, of course, we have to complete the work, but after that, they they let us do our our own things, thesis and other things. So in my um, in the, towards the middle of my fourth semester and my fifth semester, that is a period of around six to seven months, is when I actually prepared for CTBS. 
the last six months anyway, I have to prepare for my uh, final year exam. So that uh, that time I did not prepare any CTVS. That that middle six months is where I really prepared for CTVS. And uh, my uh, the preparation I started with speed only, and of course Arun Kumar's lectures because though I was interested in cardiac surgery, the nuances of cardiac surgery for a normal general surgery resident, I mean, no uh, exposure. Don't have any idea. And no exposure, and I. Uh, I mean, I did not read any textbooks or anything. It was just the speed videos, which was my base for my knowledge in cardiac surgery. And where the speed videos threshold in, my knowledge in cardiac surgery also ends up there. <laughs> tell me, your threshold is more than. <laughs> I'll tell you, if if you have done a full course of cardiothoracic surgery in speed, that means that is the standard of final year MCH. <laughs> Postgraduate is the level. That means you have done it, and you will have only cutting in the mind. You can keep cutting. And you can just, you'll have everything that you wanted to know. That's what you are telling me right now. And you are always a smiling face. I mean, actually, <laughs> you you always is charming and smiling and uh, very good, actually. Okay. Now, how many questions did you attend? 79, sir. Why that one question, what mistake it did? Sir, that question, I had no idea, sir. They had asked uh, in uh, breast reconstruction surgery, what is the dimensions of the nipple and areola uh -huh. in centimeters? And I had no idea, sir. So this left that question, sir. Okay. Good. Fair enough. Can you share something on your interview? I mean, experience on your interview? Interview, I had actually asked my uh, seniors. I have a couple of seniors in uh, Ames, Delhi, how to prepare. And uh, most of the things in Arun sir has two or three videos. Most of the things are covered in that video. However, this year's interview wasn't uh, the previous, uh, the way the previous structure was there, it wasn't like that this year. It was a uh, more relaxed interview. It was more about getting to know us. And uh, based on our experience, they would ask me one or two questions. I personally uh, was not asked anything, uh, anything high five in, in my interview. And uh, yes, so I think this year it wasn't the structured interview that was in the last uh, few years. Okay. Now, for the future aspirants of MCH cardiothoracic surgery, I mean, what will be your advice? I would obviously ask them to take speed and not uh, go behind the uh, textbooks because I don't think uh, you have to be focused when you prepare for an entrance. And even if you read entire books, I don't think we can memorize. And we read a lot of unnecessary things. So I think once you have decided, there is no point in wasting time. You just uh, have to take speed uh, and just start preparing cardiac surgery immediately. It does not take a lot of time also because I did it during my uh, MS general surgery. So it is possible to study during your general surgery. Apart from that, it is, I think, to uh, make the decision, you can take time to take what MCH you want, but once you decide to take the MCH, I think you have to immediately start preparing for the entrance exam. All go, all, all, once decided, should go all out. Yes, sir, should go all out. <laughs> Great. Now, time to thank and whom all you want to thank, you can use the platform to do so. So, so first of all, I thank God for his blessings and it's it's a blessing sir getting AR1 and getting into the prestigious institutes is always a blessing and I've been I've been blessed to study in already two prestigious institutions already. After that my parents, my mother and my father for the constant support and motivation. My teachers all the way from uh, CNC Velo and uh, in PJ Chandigarh. Especially the consultants in my department of general surgery, Dr. Kaman sir, Ajay sir, uh, Sati sir and Yeshan sir. Because uh, not only have they taught and mentored me, but they have helped me during my most difficult time during my year uh, Then uh, I would like to thank Speed, the platform, for my, that which is basically my uh, training and exposure for novice cardiac surgery. Then I would like to thank uh, my sister, who is actually uh, studying her gynecology in uh, Amrita in Kochi. She also has uh, helped me and supported me. Then I would like to thank uh, some of my seniors. Dr. Naveen, especially Dr. Naveen Pandakota is my uh, senior. I is an SR currently in general surgery. And from my first few months in general surgery, he has been someone I look up to. Being one of those understanding seniors who has helped me a lot. Apart from that, uh, my friends and my juniors. Juniors especially because in my last six months, they gave me time to study. They the so, especially my friends, Dr. Shaurya, Dr. Pooja, and my juniors a lot of them. Dr. Riya, Dr. Rishika, Dr. Shubham, and Dr. Raghav. Great, wonderful. And when once the video reaches all of them, they will feel very happy and very honored. And also, and the most important people, all are important, and the people who will feel really kind of thing is your father and mother. Dr. Suresh Kumar, sir, and also Madam, your mother, looking at this stature and stage, 
definitely they will be a happy parent Thank and you, and of course all your faculties and your seniors and juniors they'll also feel happy and i wish you and all of them great success and best wishes and to you have a great career in kadithra sex surgery and a wonderful career and a, and a great successful career in years to come for you and and on thank behalf of all the faculty members and students to wish you all the best thank you thank, thank you thank you, thank you.